What's up, Professor Wargalese here. We're moving on to the next lecture. We are on lecture number five. We're going to talk about HTML tables and also take a look at CSS3 tables. If you look at the Canvas page, we're going to start with the slides and then we're going to look at some code examples. So if you open up the slides HTML tables, we'll go ahead and begin there. You can take some notes as we're going through the concepts. Okay, opening up the slides, we're going to start from the current slide. And we'll be learning HTML tables. Now, we're going to be building HTML tables, but the biggest thing is we're not going to be using these for page layouts. So first, let's talk about what a table is, and we'll look at how we can use So what's a table? Now, a lot of students are scratching their head. Tables are old school. A table is a structured set of data made up of rows and columns. It's called tabular data. You can think of an Excel sheet. We're going to be using tables to basically allow us to quickly and easily look up values that indicate some type of connection between different types of data. Now, that's smart. Tables are old school, but they're still very productive and easy to look up massive amounts of data. For example, let's say I have a person and we want to know their age or we have day of the week or we have a timetable for the local swimming pool. What's the easiest way to display this type of data? Usually it's going to be a table. Here I have all the people on the left and I have their age. So Chris is 38, Dennis is 45, and I just go down the table and I can see very easily who's the person and what their age is. Or let's say a calendar. Here we have seven days of the week, Monday through Sunday. What do I need to do? or what's the hours for this public swimming pool? You see Monday, it's 6.30 to 10.30. Then we have the lane swim from 11.30 to 13.00. So I can very easily find the information that I need. And what's nice about the right one is it's color-coded. So I can see all the public swims are in blue. All the lane swims are in green. That makes it even easier to find the information I need. Now, tables are very commonly used throughout human society. They've been around for a long time. Even the first U.S. Census documents from the 1800s used tables. Now, here's an example. So we can see tables are a very important part of displaying data. They're also an important part of web development. So it's no wonder that the creators of HTML provided a means by which to structure and present tabular data on the web. But how does the table work? The point of a table is that it's rigid. Information is easily interpreted by making visual associations between rows and columns. Now look at the table below. I'm going to show an example. Let's say I want to find out the number of moons on Jovian. I can go over here, look up Jovian. I have gas giants, ice giants, Jovian planets. I can see are the largest planet would be Jupiter. Jupiter has a mass of 1898. Let's see how many moons it has. So the moons are going to be 67. So I just go there, find Jupiter, scroll over, find the number of moons. I can find out, okay, Jupiter has 67 moons based off of this document here. If I want to find a Jovian gas giant with 62 moons, I go down number of moons there. So I'm going down the list. I'm going down number of moons. Okay, 62, scroll over, that's Saturn. Okay, I can easily find data on this table. So usually you can find the answer by associating the relevant row and the column headers. Now, when done correctly, all people can interpret tabular data in an HTML table. It's very easy. We've been trained as children. A successful HTML table should enhance the experience of sighted and visually impaired users alike. What's also nice about tables is I could use a browser reader and it will read the table to the visually impaired. So let's say you can't see, I'm using a web reader. It can read my table and let the user know exactly what they need to find, even with the visually impaired. But when should you not use an HTML table? Now it's easy to just say, okay, tables are sweet. I'm going to use them for everything, but that's not the right answer. Now, HTML tables should be used for tabular data. That's what they're designed for. But in the old days, and nowadays I see people still doing it, people used to create page layouts using tables. Now, what the heck are you doing? We'll talk about this more in the next video.